So in the next three sections, we're going to look very closely at the bi biomechanical movement of the shoulders or the torso. Now, here is a pie chart of the golf swing. Half the golf swing is to do with body rotation. When your shoulders coil through 90 degrees, your torso, your hips, your legs, your feet are all brought into life by that one rotational movement. So half the golf swing comes from body coil. Quarter of the golf swing comes from the behavior of the arms. And the forearms rotate through 90 degrees and back to 180. And the final section, the final quarter, is wrist hinge. And again, we've shown in great detail that if the left thumb is placed properly, wrist cock is 90 degrees. So this biomechanical pie chart of only three sections is mirrored in the ball flight pie chart of three sections. They mirror each other. Well, they should do. They're part of the same universe. Now, let's go to the practice ground and let's examine in particular detail the behavior of the body or the shoulder coil because that's half the swing and that's what gives the ball power. So following on from the two pie charts, looking at the shoulder coil, I'm going to place my six iron across my shoulders, just uh, holding the club with my fingertips into the sort of joint of the muscle there. Now, if the posture is good, I keep my head central, I'm looking at you, the viewer, and I'm turning my left shoulder under my throat to 90 degrees. So that is shoulder coil or torso rotation. And I tend to believe that if the grip and the posture are good, and you know how to turn your shoulders in this manner, then you're creating power properly, but you're creating power in the correct plane. So full power from the shoulders is when I go for a complete 90 degrees. And then I will release through with the club in my hands and my arms. Now we can build that up into quarter, half, three quarter and full. This is quarter of a shoulder turn. This is half a shoulder turn. This is three quarters and there is full. If I incline forward from my hips, I can show you in golfing plane. This is a quarter, that's a half, that's three quarter, and that's full. So if the shoulders are coiled for nine degrees, you've extracted as much power as you can. Now I can demonstrate that with just four shots. And uh, this, is, this is good for two reasons. It's actually helping your short game. This is like chipping or a low shot, but it's building the swing up in stages. So, taking my grip and my posture, I'm aiming at the flagpole, uh, just the right of the clubhouse, that's where I'm lined up. Taking my grip. So I'm just going to hit a shot with quarter shoulder turn. The Y shape of arms and club stay together. This is a quarter shot, it's like a little chip. I started to create power simply by allowing the shoulders to turn. So I'll just show that again, there's my setup. That's a full shoulder turn. I'm just giving you a quarter shoulder turn and that gives you a chip shot. So now I can give you half a shoulder turn to about here. See the ball goes further. It's probably going 100 yards now with this six iron. So I've gone from big chipping to little shots under the wind. Three quarter shoulder turn. About there. And that ball's flying over 100 yards now. So the biggest shot that I produce with just my shoulders and torso only is going to look like this. And to be honest, it's going to give me probably three quarters, seven eighths of a full six iron anyway. So here we go. So now we're going to do a full shoulder coil back and through. I've flown the ball about 155 yards through the air just by using the power of my shoulders. Because my posture is good, my body, my hips, my legs, my knee flex, my weight shift, all of that was taken care of. All I was doing was creating power. It's very important to appreciate that the backswing is initiated by the shoulders. If I show you my setup here and start with my wrist, they'd vote for vertical, upright. If I start with the swing of my forearms, I'll vote for flat and horizontal. The shoulder turn, the shoulder coil, is the initiator 
and the author of the entire backswing rotation. I get a good foot, I get sort of half to two thirds of a swing just off shoulder turn. Forearm and wrist will give me the rest, but the power comes from the body.